What does it take to quickly engage 40,000 people in the transformation of their company? The process I'm about to reveal is embedded in a practice I call Accelerated Corporate Transformation, or ACT. The ACT process is rapidly deployed in three launch stages before shifting into a longer execution phase. Using ACT's high engagement methodology, an executive leader is able to quickly increase the energy level throughout the organization during the launch phase and keep it high using a rigorous series of quarterly reviews during the execution phase. A little extra help is obtained from the mid-course assessment which kicks in about the time energy begins to wane. By focusing the organization, engaging the people and staying the course in this way, a company is able to achieve quantum improvements on its major transformation initiatives within the first 12 months following launch. That, in its simplest form, is the accelerated corporate transformation process. Now let's see how a new CEO adapted ACT to the transformation challenge he faced when he took charge as CEO of a global firm in the retail sector. After a brief discovery period, the new CEO and his next two levels of executive leaders spent three months working through the assess and focus phases of launch before deploying a rapid all-employee high engagement cascade in the align phase. The CEO began the assess phase by helping his executive leaders take a hard look at the major business realities confronting their company. While the company had continued to grow over the previous three years, operating profit had been declining along with employee morale and customer satisfaction. The stock price had tanked, many of the best employees had departed, and customer repeat purchases were the lowest ever recorded. By relying on the ACT process to thoroughly understand the internal and external realities confronting the company, the leadership team formulated a new corporate vision and business success model to become the most compelling place to work, shop, and invest in their industry. Next, they used the ACT process to translate the new business model into three well-defined company-wide initiatives focusing on shareholder value, customer satisfaction and employee engagement, each of which was targeted for quantum improvement during the first year of execution. The senior team also articulated a new set of corporate values to guide the accelerated transformation of the company. These values included respect for the individual, fanatical customer service, and excellence in execution. At this point, the new CEO had used ACT to quickly lead his senior team through a transformation planning process in which they had confronted reality, identified and prioritized the major issues, developed a new business model, articulated three company-wide transformation initiatives, identified the company's new core values, and come together as a leadership team. It was time to launch the accelerated corporate transformation throughout the company. I often rely on a metaphor in corporate transformation projects that goes something like this. Let's first sharpen the strategic arrow and then put all of the wood behind it. The what's of the corporate transformation go into the head of the arrow and the how's are placed in the wood behind the arrow. With this image in mind, the new CEO and his key leaders cast the what's, the new corporate vision, business success model and values into the head of their transformation arrow. Then for the work initiative, they set a stretch goal of becoming one of Fortune's 100 best companies to work for. The stretch goal for the shop initiative focused on dramatically reducing customer complaints in order to improve repeat purchases. And the stretch goal for the invest initiative emphasized shareholder value creation. These would become the hows of their transformation effort. The whole scheme is summarized in the company's own version of the arrow, which became the primary icon of its accelerated transformation effort. The remainder of the wood behind the arrow was supplied by subunit leadership teams, managers, and employees at all levels in the organization when they translated the corporate transformation initiatives into business commitments and job objectives. This last step in the launch of their accelerated corporate transformation process was accomplished with a global rollout of a rapid all-employee high engagement cascade. What was the CEO hoping to achieve? He wanted to quickly engage all 40,000 employees in the transformation of his company, and in the process, he intended to create leaders at all levels to get the job done. To do this, he had to create a setting in which each employee could understand why the company needed to transform 
and what major changes or improvement were required to realize the new vision and business success model. Employees needed time to dialogue about what needed to be done before translating this information into relevant actions at their job level. In short, the objectives of the company's high engagement all employee cascade were to quickly focus the organization from top to bottom, clearly communicate the next phase in simple, compelling terms, engage all managers and employees in a structured dialogue, generate immediate two-way feedback, conclude with clear line of sight accountability, and refocus and re-energize the entire organization. How did the company design its cascade to so quickly and simultaneously reach these objectives? The decision was made that all employees would go through the ACT-based cascade experience and that this would be accomplished within a two-month time frame. The cascade would be rolled out within each major component of the company. Because the top three levels of executives had been involved in one or more of the three leadership meetings in which the transformation constructs had been formulated, it took less than two weeks for all organizational subunits to align their initiatives and stretch goals to those they had helped develop for the company as a whole. Moreover, the act process in which the leaders had worked in these early meetings employed a high engagement approach. So they were prepared to lead the cascades with managers and employees in their subunits in a high engagement manner. The new CEO kicked off the first cascade meeting in each major subunit and a videotape of him was used to start all subsequent cascade meetings. All cascade meetings followed a similar format. All employees at a particular level in a subunit came together at the same meeting. The large meeting room in which each cascade was held was set up in the round and everyone had a playbook which contained information on all the transformation constructs plus worksheets that enabled teams sitting at the tables to quickly translate the new initiatives and values first for relevance in their part of the organization and second into preliminary personal commitments. After covering the business realities confronting the company as well as its new vision and business success model, the heart of the high engagement cascade began. First, each corporate transformation initiative was worked on one at a time by the natural work teams working at each table. This is where the dialogue took place among a supervisor and his or her direct reports, which is so important for high engagement. Teams engaged in table work dialogue to explore the meaning of the initiative as well as its stretch goals for their work environment. What could they do to contribute to the initiative? The focusing of the company using the ACT methodology on a few initiatives that were targeted for quantum improvement in a short period of time greatly simplified the process managers and employees needed to go through to determine what they could do to contribute. Knowing exactly what the company needed to do and why also helped managers and employees explore new ways of thinking and performing at work and encourage them to take some risk to make commitments to perform in different ways on the job. Finally, the work of the table teams was sampled in the larger Cascade Forum before individuals were given some time to write down their personal business commitments to support the initiative. Supervisors were on hand at the beginning of each initiative module to share the commitments they had made to the initiatives before serving as coaches to their subordinates. In the next module, the new corporate values were presented and then explored by the table work teams. The ACT table work exercise required the teams to translate each of the three new corporate values into behaviors, which if observed in the team's work environment would give evidence that the value was actually being practiced. After sampling the work from several tables by way of quick summaries that were shared with the all Cascade participants, time was set aside for each individual to record preliminary personal commitments to changes in their behaviors at work to be able to live the new values. Since direct superiors were sitting at the tables with their employees, they had an opportunity to share their own behavioral commitments prior to the table work, and they were available as coaches throughout the table work exercise. By having this overlap in the cascade process, the CEO was able to ensure that cultural alignment was working its way down through each subunit in the company. After working through the table work modules for all three corporate transformation initiatives and the new corporate values, the ACT Cascade provided time for everyone to refine their personal business commitments and their behavior change commitments. These summaries forms were turned into the immediate supervisor who had been serving as a coach throughout the day, and each individual and his or her supervisor were scheduled to meet within a week of the Cascade meeting 
to firm up the commitments for accountability. After completing that step, participants are ready to lead the Cascade at the next level without delay. The final session at the Cascade meeting was titled Removing Obstacles to Acceleration. It provided an opportunity for the table work teams to identify obstacles that might impede their ability to meet the performance and behavioral commitments they had set during the day. Table work teams were asked to brainstorm and then prioritize the obstacles they wanted removed under each of the three initiatives. And then they worked with their supervisor who had been with them all day to target the obstacles for removal by placing them under one of three categories. Eliminate now, remove within six weeks, or ignore for the moment. It was the supervisor's responsibility following the Cascade meeting to ensure that these actions were taken. The Cascade Day was closed by the ranking subunit leader who thanked everyone for a hard day's work, explained how performance against personal commitments would be reviewed, and went over the responsibilities that everyone in attendance would have as coaches in the next level Cascade meetings that would follow within a few days. The entire cascading effort in the store subunit of this global company is summarized in this chart. Starting at the top with the extended leadership team meeting, which all corporate officers attended, and ending with a four-hour format for all individual contributors in each of the company's 900 stores. That, in a nutshell, is how a new CEO used the Accelerated Corporate Transformation, or ACT, methodology to engage 40,000 people in accelerating the transformation of their company. By the end of the first year of execution, the company had been able to double its shareholder value, cut customer complaints in half, and increase retention of its global workforce by 72%. Truly breakthrough achievements on all three corporate transformation initiatives. Perhaps the experiences of employees during the company's transformation launch best tell the story. I think the process is uh, terrific. I think we've got a lot of people uh, that are really engaged today that are very involved in this process. I think everyone's having a good time. I think they're really enjoying it. You get to come together with all of your peers and really have an opportunity to brainstorm and hear their ideas. I think this is really going to send a message to our employees that we as a company are really involved with their development but also getting them involved with the whole process. I think the direction this company is taking with this is absolutely one that we've been waiting for.